Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE JDM. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX 11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can go to properties and this time you can type in dash DX 12, launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open this jdm folder binaries win64 and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and go to this tab put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation sorry uh, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click and then check still not working in that case you can uncheck all these boxes so when you put a check if, if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like a vast, not on, bit defender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus pr program. If you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access, click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder and then select the game exe file, click on open. Again click on add and then click on browse and then open this JDM folder, binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Allow another app. Click on browse. Go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app. Click on browse and open this JDM binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the save game files but before you rename or delete it create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so make sure that you create a backup so open file explorer on computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and over here you will see the jdm folder so make a right click copy this folder and create a backup you can paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup now you can rename this folder dot old rename it now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of a graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. 
by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so you can type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder open the game folder open jdm binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game in the list click on it and then click on high performance for gpu preference you can select high performance you will see your graphic card over here and then again click on add desktop app and then you can go back and then select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game select high performance again over here and then you can launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings then go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart to launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down you will see visual files you can download this x86 you can run this exe file click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install just ignore the error message i have just installed it so it's giving me error message now download this x64 file as well and run this exe file now, again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install just ignore it let the installation complete then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using and then disconnect additional controllers sometimes we have extra control uh, controller or usb adapter any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party of services or application running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on this game select properties and then go to general and turn off overlay over here if you have any other overlay application running that like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off overlay if you have any kind of overclocking application first of all remove the overclocking you can set the overclocking to default and then close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner and then check if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram 
total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select a model number and then update the BIOS. And in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to skip. You can skip this. Skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, switch to window mode, lower down video settings. So if graphics preset is set to high or ultra, you can set it to medium or low quality and then check. La the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. The after you uninstall the game, you can install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.